In this video, we'll be making some refinements to the dash of the car. Uh, most notably is I want to mount my rugged radio setup for the headsets. Um, I had had it mounted down here under the dash, but since I have completely removed the AM FM CD player, I want to mount it up here, so I need to make a new panel that mounts the rugged radio setup. I have ordered a bracket from Rugged Radios that's for this exact purpose because, uh, well, quite frankly, I didn't need to spend hours and hours trying to make the bracket that they already make to pop right on here. Um, I will be retaining the heater control systems. I want to make the PowerPoint work so it's not uh, completely piece of crap looking there. Uh, mostly because this hole ended up much bigger than the PowerPoint because the um, old radio was actually shorting into the aluminum panel and then it would pop fuses and stuff. So that was really fun. <laughs> so the I, I, <laughs> 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 So I'm going to need to make the new panel. I'm going to be heap the heater controls, uh, the power points should stay in the same place. The radio will end up going centered or slightly offset or something. The bracket I ordered is going to have a switch built in alongside. That'll be nice because then I can just have it uh, for powering up the radio because it just doesn't need to have the power on all the time. Alright, parts came in from Rugged Radio. So I got the bracket so that'll mount the intercom system and it's got the switch opening. So I'm just gonna have that for an on off switch in the dash. And then this is gonna be the pretty sweet part is this is just a jack receptacle to mount these cable extensions so they can plug into the back of the intercom and then they'll just have uh, the headphone jack input on the dash that I'm gonna make where we can just uh, plug them in quick and pull them out and then I can take the headsets in and out of the car without having to dig around in order to get to the plugins back here. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead. Everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they want to rise up while you drown They want to fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless I can see that they compare I think everyone's against me Maybe something in the air Am I paranoid? I swear a void is forming And they're scared I walk a straight path Not many can say that I'd like to play fast Cross me and there's payback You better pray that I don't see your face at Any place that I go I know you hate that I've been doing fine I'm not wasting any more time I live for the fight and the climb 
I think that the pain that's deep inside is what defines So I won't give up, I'm gonna make it to the top I don't care what's in my way, I swear I'm never gonna stop I could fall flat on my face and I swear I won't get back up Cause I don't deserve a thing and the road ahead is tough They'll try to kick you while you're down They wanna rise up while you drown they wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'm gonna wrap this one in gray carbon Same as the old one was Just to keep the aesthetics going the same uh, I've got all my holes drilled, deburred, chamfered And then to get this thing ready for putting the wrap on I just uh, scrubbed it off with some Dawn dish soap and warm water uh, Both sides, I mean you can just feel how much cleaner it is so that'll give us a nice uh, contact and sticking of the wrap. use the center punch here and then I can just kind of find the holes and then it'll pull them clean or at least just push the wrap out of the way enough that we can find the hole with a bolt all right now we're ready to start assembling this so we have uh, our bracket mounts Switches, cigarette lighter, HVAC control stuff. So all that needs to go back in here. I want to start with this plate. However, this is what they sent with it. Just some screws to go into like plastic dash or something like on a side by side. So uh, yeah, we're going to skip that. We're going to see what we got for some stainless stuff in here and make it look a little nicer. All right, well, I had to go dig through a different bin because all the ones in that were too big. So maybe these will fit. <sighs> ah, I'm still going to have to drill it out. All right, well, downside, they don't match. Well, they match each other. Upside is it matches the screws that uh, came with this. So we're still in theme. If I really cared a whole lot, I'd go find matching hardware, but I don't. This is a race car. Oh boy, this one's gonna be a little tedious. I think that we've all had enough. What keeps you up at night, yeah? Make all the demons quiet, yeah? We were built to thrive, yeah? That's looking pretty good. Part I don't like about this kind of stuff is how tiny the little pieces are. Speaking of which, do you see the set screws that are gonna hold these in place in that housing? Do you see them? Do you see it? Do you see it now? You see both of them. There they are. I don't like working with super tiny stuff. Alright, the switch just pushed in, had a very satisfying click when it popped in there. Um, the cables here also pushed in. Uh, they got them two tiny little set screws there to hold them in place. Honestly, these pushed in very stiff. I wouldn't be worried about them going anywhere anyway. So, now we just need the radio, 
or the intercom rather. And that gets mounted with the brackets back here. There we go. That should look pretty nice in there. All right, well, obviously there's gonna be a lot of wiring going on back here, so I'm gonna to try to clean up some of this extra length of wire before we start putting it back in the dash. Well, I gotta say, this looks pretty freaking cool. And the nice part is, I, once I finish up the wiring, I haven't done any wiring here, this is still loose. It'll get screwed back in. But uh, I wanna do some different wiring and fuse routing behind the back because right now, the way I've had this working was, uh, the big fat red wire over there gets plugged into the fuse panel that has a fuse on it, but then it was powering up the radio and, or the intercom and the cigarette lighter at the same time and I had to unplug it otherwise they were powered constantly which is kind of annoying so I want to build a different uh, <coughs> bracket probably off of this panel that then will hold some fuses and then the plan is to run it in to this will power up the intercom so that can be individually turned on and turn off and then I'll make sure that the cigarette lighter is on a key hot source to make sure that that's not running constantly or maybe I want to, it to run constantly because then I could keep charging like a cell phone or something when it's plugged in and the car's not running I don't know we'll look into that but and oh yeah and then I've got the switch here which I don't have anything planned for that immediately. Um, kind of what my thought is about adding it now was if I got a clutch activation switch also hooked up, this could be my intermittent trigger to put the EFI into a launch control. So then it could engage a two-step and then once the clutch gets released on launch, then they would kick the two-step out and continue on a either the start of an autocross or a drag pass kind of a thing. Be pretty cool. Figure that out, be able to get a much better launch off the line, but yeah. I really like the way this comes out. It's better than a big hole in the dash where the other radio got taken out. And quite frankly this intercom system has made it so much nicer for just talking to the passenger, especially on a long trip, because it's got the noise canceling headphones and stuff. Like it just eliminates a lot of the just drone and noise of the car going down the road, <coughs> which is really nice. So yeah, looks way better than it hanging under the dash too. So just sweet.